So our drilling and tapping operations are done for the two holes in the upper right hand quadrant of the part. Now we, we've got to do a, uh, a spot drill and a drilling operation for these two holes that are in the bottom quadrant of the part here on our counter bore. And so we might as well just copy the operations we already created. Now before we do this, maybe it's, it's a good time. So we've got our facing operation, our pocketing operation. We've got another pocketing operation. We can actually rename these. So we can rename this through pocket. And then we'll remember that that's the pocket that goes through the part when we're looking at it. We can rename this one. pocket and so that's the pocket that doesn't go through you could call it blind pocket you could call it joe it doesn't really matter it's just something that helps you remember what it is in this one that is our spot drilling operation rename spot this one was our peck drilling operation rename peck and this was our tapping operation we're going to rename that one tap and that way we'll know that our spot drilling operation is which one, the tap pecking operation. Actually, when you, uh, when you created the operation, you could have created the name at that point too. If you open up this one here, it says operation name. You could have filled it in there. Okay, so now that we've named our operations, the, uh, the counter bore needs a spot drilling operation. It needs a peck drilling operation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select spot and hold down shift and select pack or I can hold down control and select pack. I'm going to right click and say copy. I'm going to go up to my counter bore. I'm going to right click and say paste. And so now we've got a, peck dr a spot drilling operation, a peck drilling operation for that, except the peck drilling operation isn't going to be the right diameter because remember we used our number seven drill for that. We need to edit this one. So we're going to go ahead and, and click on peck drilling instead of the number seven drill. We're going to do our F drill, which is the clearance hole for that. Um, we can uh, look up our feeds and speeds. And again, let's go ahead and find our feeds and speeds chart. MFELabs.org. We'll go to information for students, tooling, mill tools. We want common drill sizes, drill feeds and speeds. We're in wrought aluminum here we want our uncoated drill we want 300 surface feet per minute and our drill here is about a quarter of an inch in diameter so if i trace over on the chart for about a quarter of an inch in diameter i'll do a 0.009 inches per minute or inches per revolution for the feed for that now on these charts here you can linear interpolate between an eighth and a quarter to get the exact number, or you can go with the one that's pretty close. So let me go back to a spree, alt tab, alt tab to a spree. All right, so if I go 300 surface feet per minute, 009, now I've got the feed and speed for that peck drilling operation. And again, let's just make sure that our RPM doesn't go over 6,000 because we know we're gonna cut this in a mini mill. Top speed in the mini mill is 6,000 RPM. So we've, we've copied our operations over and we've edited the peck drilling operation. Before we move on to the next step, let's go ahead and simulate again. Now in our simulation parameters, make sure we've got collision detection turned on to full say okay i'm going to go ahead and just select the spot drilling and the peck drilling operation i've already saved the simulation state through the uh through the part to the last operation here uh, i'm going to run this spot drilling works okay and the peck drilling when it goes into the hole seems to crash we can Sort of zoom in here, see what's going on. If we hit play in the middle of a crash here, we can step to the next uh, crash. And so it's crashing every peck into the part as it goes in here. And so it did finish and it made a part that looks okay but it, it definitely gouged the material and crashed on the way in. If we, uh, if we go ahead, turn on our comparison dialog, 
we can we can zoom in and we can see that down there where it was supposed to make this uh, this clearance hole for quarter 20 it's yellow whereas the rest of the part up here is green we expect to see the blue here because that's the um, that's where we haven't yet removed the material for the counter bore but here we expect that surface to be green and it's yellow if we open up our comparison dialog we can see that yellow is somewhere around four, maybe five thousandths out of spec. Now we can actually adjust the tolerance in our comparison dialog. If we set the tolerance to be three, recalculate, we see we've got a mixture of green and yellow there. If we set it to be four and recalculate, everything turns green. So, so what it's telling me is that the hole that we drilled, the drill that we used to drill the hole, is just a little bit larger than the, uh, the drill that the, uh, the designer expected us to use or the diameter that the designer created when they created the solid model. And, and it turns out on further investigation, if we measure the diameter of the, uh, the feature that defines the hole there, the designer gave us a hole that's 0.25 inches in diameter. Now we chose that F drill because we know that that's the appropriate clearance drill for uh, for a quarter twenty fastener, and uh, and we knew that that was the fastener that was going to go in there. There's there's a couple of different ways to handle this. We could um, we could modify that solid model and and make the hole bigger, or while it's doing that part of the simulation, we can ignore it and. You know, you have to sort of decide, take it with a grain of salt, um, or or we could go modify our F drill, the diameter of our F drill, to uh, to read out 0.25 inches instead of 0.257. This is this is a way to fake it past the crash in the simulation. It's not necessarily the the right answer. <clears throat> the right answer would actually be to talk to the designer. Ask the designer, did you really want those holes to be 0.25 inches or did you want it to be the, the F drill, which is what we called out. Now, it's pretty typical on a, on a part like this and on a feature like that, that the, the expected tolerance would be plus or minus five thousandths of an inch, in which case we're well within that tolerance and, uh, and we can set that and we can go on.